Hi, everyone. Today, I would like to tell you a short story from Zhuangzi. The reason for telling this story is also the rethinking about the development of the ID industry around me in recent years. This story in Zhuangzi's chapter, Da Shen, it means to understand the truth of life. Earlier, I also talked about a short story called The Choice of a Pig. It is also in the same chapter. During the Warring State periods, there was a woodworker named Zi Qing, who was very skilled at making Bianzhong stand. Bianzhong is also called the Chime Bells. It was a large musical instrument in ancient China. And what he made is only its stand, a very simple product. However, what his stand was so beautiful, and the animals on it looked like the real ones. When it was finished, everyone who saw it was stunned, for it seemed to be the work of God, gods and spirits. And even the king of the country, Lu, was amazed by his work. The king found him and asked him, Zi Qing, what art is it you have? Zi Qing replied, I'm only a craftsman. How would I have any art? There is one thing, however, when I'm going to make a bell stand, I never let it wear out my energy. I always fast in order to steal my mind. When I have fasted for three days, I no longer have any sort of congratulations or rewards or titles or stipends. When I have fasted for five days, I no longer have any sort of praise or brain of skill or clumsiness. And when I have fasted for seven days, I am so still that I forget I have four limbs and a form and body. By that time, the ruler and his court no longer exist for me. My skill is concentrated, and all outside distractions fade away. After that, I go into the mountain forest and examine the heavenly nature of the trees. If I find one of the superlative form and I can see a bell stand there, I put my hand to the job of carving. If not, I let it go. This way, I am simply matching up heaven with heaven. That's probably the reason that people wonder if the results were not made by spirits. What does Zhuangzi want to tell us through this story? That is, if you want to do things well, you should exclude all external distractions and not waste energy on things that are not related to this work. To reach this state requires three levels. The first is to forget about profit, that is, how much money I can make, which in Zhuangzi's view is the simplest. The second level is to forget about the fame, that is, how the world judge you. It is also easy to understand. Our emotions are too much affected by the external world. The third is to forget yourself, that is, finally forget everything and go into an empty state, so that you can be the one with heaven, which in Zhuangzi's view is the most difficult. On this point, I think you will understand it when you see the Olympic champion Quan Hongchan diving into the water in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. This also let me feel it is very similar to Western philosophy, Stoicism. Tim Ferriss also once mentioned it in a tech talk. Besides, there is another point, that is, matching up heaven with heaven. Choose the right wood for the right bell stand and do the right thing with the right person. This is actually all very simple truths. Nothing profound, but today we think and calculate too much, which leads us to not to see these simple truths. If you work in the IT industry, you must know why there are so many failed IT projects. 
because we pay too much attention to make money, and more terrible, many companies do not have the qualified people to do this task. The recent Xi'an's passing code application in China collapsed two times, which caused huge chaos during the Corona pandemic. It is obvious an example of this problem. Perhaps you will say that I am too negative. Businessmen like me will go bankrupt. But I say it is better do nothing than do the wrong thing. The more you do, the faster you die. There is a famous saying in Silicon Valley: "Fake it until you make it." Under this mental guidance, ninety-five percent of startups failed after three years, which is a huge loss for society and individuals. We see Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, such legends on TV every day, and believe that if we work hard, we will become one of them. However, I would say you are wrong. There is a phenomenon called survivorship bias. That is, you never hear the cries of the losers, which leads you to overestimate the chance of success. There is an old Chinese saying: "A general builds his success on ten thousand bleaching bones." Hi, bro. If you insist on doing things with that kind of double-mindedness and unpreparedness, you may well be a silent one of those ten thousand bleaching bones. Today, more than two thousand years later, in this rush world, we need to look at things calmly and rationally, like Zhuang Zi. If you want to do a good job, you must focus on the thing itself. And wait for qualified people to appear before you start doing it. In this way, you can do things better. The hardest thing in life maybe is waiting. However, we should not negatively consider waiting as doing nothing. Instead, waiting is a natural process for changing. Quantitative accumulation leads to qualitative transformation, which means. You should constantly improve yourself and turn yourself into that capable person. That's what I think about this little story from Zhuang Zi. Feel free to leave your comment. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.